We love our devices. However, we are aware that sometimes they take over our lives. Today, we're going to show you one of the new tricks Google has included in Android 9 Pie to help wrestle back control in their relationship with our phones. I'm Lee, and you're watching Discovery with 3. The latest version of Android is just starting to roll out, and as always, it has a mix of small back-of-the-house changes as well as some more visible ones. One that really piqued our interest was the addition of a digital well-being dashboard. Well-being in general is a hot topic, and the number of apps that have sprung up in the past year as a result of this is huge. Some offer the ability to meditate or get away. Others give you ways of controlling or measuring what you do, and digital well-being leans towards the latter. It's important to note, digital well-being is in beta and isn't available for all Android Pie users straight away. Once you've signed up to the beta and installed it from the Play Store, you then need to find out where the features go. It doesn't sit as an app, so head into settings and scroll towards the bottom to find digital well-being. When you open up, there are three parts. The donut-esque dashboard, ways to disconnect and how to reduce interruption. The dashboard shows you how much screen time you've used today across a couple of standard apps, with each section of the donut being fully responsive. Click on any slice and it will take you to a daily view of how much you've used this week and previous weeks. Ooh, you may have been using Candy Crush a bit too much. You can then change from your horrifying screen time usage to how many notifications you've received or how many times you've opened the app. Ooh, that's not making me feel any better. The digital dashboard gives you daily and weekly totals right there too. You can also look at app timers and notification, so let's cover that in more detail. Head back to the main screen to explore some ways we can disconnect. It's been proven that grayscaling our devices makes them less attractive to pick up, so digital well-being lets you combine this with a do not disturb timer that kicks in every night. It's a neat menu that covers a few areas all designed to help our well-being. There's also the App Timers menu, a one-stop shop for all your apps, again viewable by screen time, notifications received, or times opened. Each app has a drop-down, which you can set a time limit on how much you want to use it each day. Once your selected time limit is maxed, the app goes grey, can't be opened without increasing it, or waiting to the end of the day. Next up, we have Reduce Interruptions. This allows you to quickly toggle notifications for each of your apps. Click to turn it on or off, or tap the name of an app to see all those pesky notifications. There's lots of personalization in the easy to view style, really worth spending some time if you're getting bombarded. Finally, we have the full Do Not Disturb menu, where you can view how it behaves, add some exceptions, and schedule it independently of the wind down feature. So, welcome to the first steps in taking back our lives while still making the most of our technology. Keep an eye out for your Android Pie update and these cool new well-being features. And in the meantime, why not have a look at some of our other Discovery videos? See you next time.